Hi everyone, it's me Kain. I'm back again with CBC Life and I'm so excited about today's video because I am going to be showing you guys how I transform from this to this. That's right everyone. Some of you may already know this about me, but I do perform in drag under the same name Kain. And those of you who follow me or have been to my shows, you know that I love to change up my makeup. I love cosplaying different characters or doing like avant-garde face paints. But today I'm going to show you guys how I achieve my standard go-to face when I just want to feel like a natural woman. This is for all of you drag newbies out there or if you're just curious on how a troll can look this pretty, <laughs> this video is for you. Let's get started. Okay, so I always start off freshly cleaned and shaved and my first step is blocking down my eyebrows. And I use something called Prosade, which it's made for special effects makeup, but it's the, the only thing I found that's really invincible to sweat. And I sweat like a hooker in church, or like me in church. I apply this using a little disposable popsicle stick and then a mascara or like brow spoolie. And you want to lay the hairs completely flat, so you're going to brush up and out in the direction they grow and really push them down. The idea is to completely remove the texture of them so we can cover them up and draw new eyebrows that are going to be higher up so that A, we have more space for dramatic eye makeup and B, so our new brows can be a little more arched and feminine looking. I'm very inspired by like Disney villain eyebrows, but the actual drawing of the new brows will come later on. So this is all just prep work in creating that canvas. I'm also gluing down my sideburns with some glue stick because I also want to cover up this hair here as well so it doesn't peek out from underneath my wig. And then I powder over all of the glue once it's fully dried so that I can go over it all with foundation and there's no moisture there. I like to use the MAC Full Coverage Foundation with a dense foundation brush that I can buff into my skin. And around the glued down parts, you want to stamp the product down, trying not to disturb the glue underneath. And you're going to go over your entire face until you look like a naked mole rat. And now we have to add some shape and dimension with highlights and contours. I use a dark foundation on the perimeters of my face as a cream contour, and I put this all along my temples, my cheekbones, my jaw to pull the edges of my face back and make it look less flat and one-dimensional. Here I'm contouring my nose and I use this small brow brush actually with my contouring color and you basically want to draw two lines down the sides of the nose but um, this is a very delicate process because you don't want to overdo it so I always blend and make sure there's not too much product on the brush. This really harsh white color I'm using is my brow highlight. I like to mark out the edge underneath where my eyebrow is going to be because it really helps me decide on how to shape them and it helps me make them more symmetrical. And I make it start just as low as where my real brow starts, but then I just angle it up higher. A lot of new queens, I think, just want to draw their entire eyebrow up higher and it just looks like a mixture of surprise and confused. But you want to make it look um, higher arched, not just higher on your face. That way it just looks fiercer and saucier. So now I'm setting the face with loose powder. If you've ever heard the term beating your face, it actually refers to this step of a drag queen's makeup routine where they beat their face with a powder puff. You always want to set creams with powder so you don't look shiny and so the makeup stays on longer. Everything we just contoured, I'm emphasizing with coordinating colored powders. And I like my contours pretty dark. Now we're going to move on to the eyes, which is always my favorite part. You know, everything up till now has been about prepping the blank canvas, and now we can really have some fun. I'm starting off with a series of brown eyeshadows ranging from lighter to darker, and I'm blending these through the crease until I work up to a black, which I'm mostly going to concentrate on the outer part of the eyes. Since our brows are going to be up higher, we can be more liberal with our eyeshadow placement and take it bigger and farther out. With drag, less is never more. You want your makeup to be visible from across the club. But with that being said, unlike some queens, I do like to blend. <laughs> but that's that's partly because I grew up in, you know, the internet age with these HD cameras. So I, I've had to learn really how to make my makeup look good from both up close and from farther away. The next step is liquid eyeliner. And then you'll notice in that blank space on that inner eyelid, I'm gonna put glitter. So after my eyeliner is down, I'm gonna lay down this NYX glitter primer first in that blank area on my lid, and then I'm gonna press the glitter on top. Glitter is my favorite part of my routine. I love when my eyelashes are so thick, they hide the glitter when my eyes are open, but then when I blink, you just get a flash of that brightness. Oh my God, if you don't feel like the most beautiful person in the world after each step, you're not doing it right. Next up, I'm adding white to the inner half of my lower lash line, sort of to complement my winged eyeliner, but in the opposite direction. And this white helps open up the eyes and make them look bigger because it mimics the whites of your eyes. I underline it with black and blend that out just like the top using browns and blacks, just with no glitter down here. Now I'm finally gonna fill in my brows. I like to use just a brown eyeshadow on a small angled brush, and I like them a little darker on the ends and more faded towards the innermost part. 
Since I underlined them earlier with that white, I'm not going in totally blind here. I have a template to follow, which makes this a lot easier. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup before adding the finishing details to the eyes. So I'm highlighting my cheeks, adding blush, lipstick. Everything else up till now has just been like bombshell, glitter, glam, smoky, and we're just wanting to add some life back into our face and humanize ourselves. Off camera, I put in my contact lenses. I just love a full on transformation and I'm gonna finish this off with my false eyelashes. These are a few pairs that I stack together with one 301. Um, so I stack for thickness and fullness and then I add the 301s which is a really popular drag lash for length. I like my lashes so big that they impair my vision and it becomes a serious safety hazard. And that in a nutshell is my go-to face. Let me just go change out of these clothes and into something a little more comfortable. This is the finished look everyone. I hope you liked it and learned something cool today. You know, whether you're a drag queen or just a regular makeup wearer, when it comes to wearing makeup, there really is no right or wrong way. It's all art. Um, but with that being said, I do like learning new tips all the time and sharing tips on how to do things faster or easier or more effectively. My YouTube channel, Online Kind, is all about being a queen from sewing costumes like this one that I made or styling hair like this. Um, you can check out my channel if you are interested in learning things more in depth or if you just have more time to waste. Also, be sure to subscribe to CBC Live for more videos. And until I see you guys next time, I hope you're all doing well. Bye.